Hello, it's Tom with Digital Foundry, bringing you a quick look at the new No Man's Sky Foundation update. Okay, it's fair to say expectations weren't met at the game's release. Features we were promised early on were outright missing on day one, and in almost four months since, it had gotten a bit quiet from Hello Games. But out of the blue, here's patch 1.10, the Foundation update, with a few neat extras both technically and in its core mechanics, that shows Hello Games is starting to put things right. There's the twists on gameplay, the new algorithms for flora and fauna that brings more variety to each planet, a base building system, a quick menu and much more. But I wanted to talk about the handful of technical changes. Let's kick off with the addition of temporal anti-aliasing for starters, something the team had promised around its release. Originally, No Man's Sky suffered from obvious pixel crawl on PS4, especially in space hub areas with sharp lights and also the flickering noise when flying over fir trees. You could get around it by using Super Sample anti-aliasing on PC, but that's a brute force approach just not available on console. This is footage of the PS4 game way before the Foundation update then, on patch 1.05. Lots of jagged edges all over the place as you can see. But now, let's switch over to the new update with TAA enabled. An instant improvement, and while it doesn't 100% eliminate all the rough edges, it's doing a far better job at it. There are lapses in coverage, it's true. Points it misses especially when you slow down camera movement. The idea of TAA is to take information from the previous frame and blend it with the current one, and so it can have some issues when there's no motion. But on the whole, edges look far cleaner on PS4, and as you can see in this flyover, trees no longer shimmer as they once did. Even the HUD on the bottom left is free of the aliasing artifacts we saw on earlier patches. Check out the difference with this zoom in, before and now after with the foundation update. Pretty nice. A downside to TAA is that it slightly blows over assets in most games, but No Man's Sky aesthetic is generally much simpler. It's less reliant on high frequency textures in the first place, meaning you don't really see any degrading in detail. Also, we'd expect a slight ghosting trail with TAA. The good news is it's practically impossible to catch if there is, since the update also comes bundled with Motion Blur, the other big addition. It's a refined form of blur that kicks in with sharp pans, and disguises any trails we might see from the TAA using a really nice blend of samples. Motion Blur might not be to all tastes, but No Man's Sky makes a great case for it. It's a lot more subtle than most games this generation, no banding artifacts to speak of, and it even doubles up by making PS4's 30fps cap much easier on the eye, which is a bonus. Speaking of frame rate, we wondered if base PS4 performance had improved at all since launch. Bear in mind, it's impossible to recreate scenes for identical tests, with the universe being regenerated essentially in the Foundation update. But still, a quick fly over a planet shows when stressed, Hello Games' engine can still be pushed to frame rates as low as 24fps. It's really nitpicking because the game locks to 30fps 99% of the time. It's actually really well optimised for that target. But still, though I've yet to see anything like the 20fps drops of the launch code, it shows a bottleneck on PS4 with the procedural generation of terrain. From a technical slant, it's business as usual there, but the temporal anti-aliasing and motion blur are at least well implemented extras. This is of course all base PS4, but looking to the future, Hello Games can do plenty with PS4 Pro support down the line, if and when that comes. But that's a story for another day. If you found this quick look interesting, do feel free to give us a like or subscribe, and you're welcome to check out our Patreon at digitalfoundry.net to see our videos exactly as we intended, before uploading to YouTube. But until next time, thanks for watching.